The following program was produced by an independent community producer. The opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect those of the ECAT staff or board of directors. Hey, greetings, everybody. Welcome to Auntie Zaza's Fireside Chat. We're very grateful to the Eastern Community Access Television for sponsoring us and helping this show be available. Um, we are uh, the, your local yarn shop, Auntie Zaza's, and I am Auntie Zaza. Zaza is my nickname. I'm Elizabeth Alec, and I own the shop in the center of town in East End at 104 Main Street right next to Farmer's Daughter. And I like to think of us as a fiber education center. We have about 70 students who come to 15 or 16 different classes that happen throughout the week. And we knit and crochet and weave and have uh, loads of fun together, inspiring and supporting each other in our creative endeavors. And a lot of times on this show, I like to offer a little instruction or hot tips. And today I'm actually i um, here to share a project that I created that mm, I want to say it took me a couple of years. And actually, the truth be told, I probably have a little bit of finishing work that I could still do on it. Um, it's an advent calendar that I made following the instructions of Alan Dart. And Alan Dart is a, a British designer of knitting and uh, his specialty is little fiddly projects of little small dolls and uh, ornaments. And this project, uh, sponsored through the Sirdar, um, is in this book. And uh, as you can see here, I've created it. So there's the whole background, which I chose to do it in a yarn that was um, a scrap yarn. Um, that uh, for the background, and it's a big present, and then each of the pockets are um, separate um, in their construction. So each pocket is pretty fiddly to do. And then um, as you can see, uh, each pocket has a little ornament. So here's a little happy apple, um, little mushroom, little Christmas present, and they're so fun. They're really adorable. Little holiday wreath. I like I like each one. So, you know, in the tradition, the advent calendar, each um, day, as you count down towards uh, the Christmas day, um, there's one little ornament that gets, uh, we do, gets hung on the tree, even though sometimes our tree doesn't go up until much closer to Christmas. Um, we have fun staging the little ornaments around in the house um, on each day as we do our countdown. This one is my favorite. I love the little polar bear. Um, and for the record, probably each little object, you know, is something, <laughs> something like five hours of work. I don't know. They're very, very fiddly. It's Sometimes when people see these little objects, they think, oh, that's like, that's so easy. And like, oh, they're so small. But it's almost like the smaller the object, this is a little finger puppet. The smaller the object, it's kind of, I don't know, the more complicated because you're using smaller needles, smaller um, thread. And uh, it can be pretty fiddly, very time consuming. It's a little stocking. This is a little bird. Anyway, it was a labor of love. This is kind of a funny looking angel. I don't know, her hair didn't quite come out like I might have thought that it could, but yep. Here's a partridge in a pear tree. They're so cute. Anyway, so that's the Allen Dart, um, the knitted keepsake and the advent calendar. And then for the fun of it, I brought out, I know a couple of months ago, I had talked about color work and stranding. So these are holiday baubles or Christmas ornaments that are using that same color work technique with a little snowflake. And you follow along on a little chart, um, you know, that would be 
maybe eight or nine green and then one white, one green, one white to make the little snowflake with stranding the contrary color down behind. These are a little pretty. Here's one that's a little Christmas tree. So that's fun. And then was kind of on a similar um, idea, these are little crochet ornaments. And I just find, I don't know, for myself that the, the joy that it is for me to create my own holiday decorations and to have, um, I don't know, the time that I put into it to make it be that it's special and that I created it and made it, that just makes it all the more special and meaningful for me during the holiday. Here's another little cute thing, which is just a little snowman with pom-pom. Just little pom-poms, googly eyes, and then the little uh, felted buttons. It's just fun making little stuff. Anyway, um, it's a little short little holiday message from Auntie Sazas to all of you, and may you all have a joyous holiday and safe time in gathering with your friends and family and enjoy the season. All the best to all of you and Happy New Year. Take care. Bye-bye.